Hey, 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 I'm ready to go into February. I gotta make new connections, y'all. Hey, 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 welcome back, welcome back. It is a new week, it is a new month almost. We are at the 30th of January, so we are going into February and we need to go into it strong. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ebony. I'm the owner of Ebony's Mobile Notary Service, the founder of 757 Notary Sisters. Please like and subscribe as I bring you content on my year two of applying pressure. Ooh, baby, January probably wore me out. This was the first month that I rolled out a mentorship program. I had so many moving pieces, so much traveling. I've been able to get finally get caught up on some rest because I've been beat. And I started this channel trying to be consistent with it. So as you guys know, if you've watched any of the other videos that I am taking you guys along with me for year two, I insert clips of my week. I do struggle with pressing the record button, but I am getting better and better. I'm making a self-conscious effort to be like, oh, record, record, record. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy the content that I'm bringing. Please look through some of the old videos. I definitely looked through um, some of them the other day in my last video from right before when I, I hadn't even had a signing and it was like my grand opening and to look to where I am now, like that is amazing, mind blowing. So I hope that you guys are ready to apply pressure in your business so you can be successful. All right, I'll come back and check in with you guys later. Right now, I'm getting ready to do an interview with Miss Vanessa Terry the owner of Notary to Notary. I am one of her students and she is going to be doing an update on how far I've come. So tune in, like, and subscribe to her YouTube channel, Notary to Notary, and you'll be able to see a lot of her students that have had a lot of success. So if you're looking for a training course, I would definitely recommend Vanessa Terry's Notary to Notary. Hey, you guys, it is still Sunday and I am headed to take my daughter back to campus. Say hey, girl, hey. Hey. <laughs> um, and I got a call from someone who found me on Google and they needed a grant deed notarized. So I definitely went and did that on my way. It took all of two minutes, maybe three, mm -hmm. if that. By the time, you know, I got in there, looked at her IDs and whatnot. So I was able one sheet and I was able to get the bag, y'all. So still Sunday and we have mentorship later. I will hop back in in a little bit. Hey, 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 it is Monday. Monday morning it is January the 31st, the last day of January. And we are getting ready to go into February. I am making my Marketing Monday little Valentine's Day baskets where I literally got this stuff from the Dollar Tree with a little piece of foam from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna stick it in there. I'm gonna have lollipops in there, mints in there, some candies in there. Some little fake flowers that I all got from the Dollar Tree. Um, throw a little hand sanitizer in there. And then um, I got these little sticks from the Dollar Tree. Again, and I'll just like stick my card and then I'll stick that in there. It'll stick up just like that in the basket. And that's just my marketing for this Monday. It's going to be February. So I'm trying to go with the pink baskets. And yeah, for the places that I'm going to walk in. Later on today, I am going to go outside and put on a little Valentine's Day colors or something. And I'm going to take some pictures and I'm going to use them for postcards and marketing for the stuff that I'm going to mail out. So I'll do that later. Yeah. And I'm just running my business. All right. I'll check. The oh, I do got signings later on this afternoon. So today my time is so precious. So I'm rolling. I'm going to try to take you guys with me along the way.
Hey, 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 it is still Monday and I just got finished doing one of my signings and um, when I was there, you know, at the end, I always, you know, let them know, hey, I'm a notary public, you know, they know that part. Um, if you ever need a notary, don't hesitate to reach out. And she was like, hey, can you do a power of attorney? And I was like, yeah. Um, and she was like, it's for me and my husband. How much would you charge? I gave them my fee and I was able to secure the bag. So do not sleep on that general notary work. Learn your verbiage for whatever your state laws are for power of attorneys and estate planning and what you can and cannot do. But I was able to do both of their powers of attorneys at the same time that we did our refi. There, the time now is 351. So I did their refi and two power of attorneys all in 51 minutes. All right. Hey, 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 you guys. It is Tuesday, February the 1st, and I am in here getting it. I am doing things like um, I told you guys before, all my credentials expire for February, so it is go time for me. Got to retake that sign at agent test. I got my background check back. I got to upload these credentials to all of the people that I've worked for. I got to make new connections, y'all. I got a year of experience. Yay! So for all those people that was like, you got to have this many signings to be on our platform. You got to have this much experience to be on your platform. I am changing my profile letter. My name is Ebony Locke. I am the owner of Ebony's Mobile Notary Services. I have completed over 1,000 real estate transactions. I would love to be assistant to your platform. How can I assist you, baby? I'm getting ready to kill it. We are applying pressure for all 2022. I am so happy to be here. I am so happy for us to be winning. Right now, I am making me some marketing materials that are Valentine's Day related. Um, just to mail out, it's cute pink, put my little suit on, make me a little postcard or something. But it's just another angle of marketing, making sure that you're putting your business out there, making sure that everyone knows that you are a notary. And that's what I always try to tell people. Like, I'll enter, hey, what's your name? My name is Ebony. I'm the owner of Ebony's Mobile Notary. Like, what's your name? And I tell my mentees that, like, when we're talking and you come off mute, like, you know, when we talk back and forth because it is virtual, I will tell them, when you come off mute, just so that I know who you are, you need to say, my name is, I am the owner of, every single time, every single time. So, we are at Tuesday. Um, I do have, one of my signings got canceled. I do have a signing later on, and y'all know I struggle with the record button. Um, oh, let me tell y'all about my signing yesterday, about getting the bag. So, when and did... Um, my regular refi, it was for a direct company. It was um, direct. Once we finished, you know, we were just talking and the lady was asking me like, oh, how long have you been doing this? So I went into that whole spiel that I'm a nurse and, oh, I got to renew my nursing license, um, that I'm a nurse and blah, 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 blah. And she was like, oh, oh my gosh. And, you know, she was a nurse too. And we were just chit chatting it up about healthcare and whatnot, whatnot. And then she said, well, me and my husband got these power of attorneys. Is there any way that you can assist us with that? Absolutely. Then I get the bag. Did her power of attorney? Did her husband's power of attorney? Then our neighbor said, hey, can you come back? Absolutely. I can come back. Absolutely. Gave them my business cards and boom, a new connection. Y'all, you never know the room that you're going to be in. Be a light every single time that you go into the room. Just Shine a light on them. Hey, shine a light on them. Hey, yep, that's your notary business. All right, y'all, I'll catch y'all. All right, so I'm at the Walgreens. I ordered some pictures, um, Valentine's Day pictures, and I put my business information on it. So we are going to go in and see what they look like. Ebony Locke. Tokyo. Also, I have a really good idea. What did you do to get uh, notarized? Oh, you just go to the Secretary of State and you become a notary public. Hmm. Yep. That's um, $45 for the state of Virginia. Oh, yeah. Are you uh, oh, yes, that too. And also, 
fantastic idea. Like, did you want cards with it? I gave you cards. Yes, you please. Cards. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know if you wanted cards. So. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you. All right, we're going to open Thank these you. up and take oh, a look. Yes. All right, you guys. This is what it looks like. Let's see if I can. Oh, I can't turn it around. Marketing, marketing, marketing. You guys, make sure you stay on your marketing. Hey, you guys, it is still Tuesday. I'm getting ready to get out of here and go to my signing, but let's talk mistakes. Um, I was reviewing some of my documents from uh, signing from last night, and I missed the signature. So before I go to my next signing, I have to stop by and grab that signature. Don't forget to always triple check your documents, but we are human. It was real small at the top. Like, why is the signature at the top up there? But it's all good. I'm going to go grab that signature. They're not far from me, and it's on the way to the other signing. So sometimes you get a lot of windshield time, a lot of time that you can kind of sit back and think and you try to figure out where you're going in this business. Like, what are your long-term goals? What are your short-term goals? And that's one beautiful thing about this journey is that you do get that time to yourself to reflect and make sure that you are walking in your purpose and that you are being the best version of you that you can be. Man, let me tell y'all. When I call and confirm the appointment, I'd be like, oh, and if you have any pets, can you please put them away? I guess that went ignored. When I tell you these two big dogs, big dogs, not small dogs, big dogs. Yeah, rolled up on me and was all in my cranny. Like, no. And I took a shower. Like, I'm clean. Like, what was that? I felt so violated. But... I am done with all my signings. I am headed to FedEx to go make the drop. And then I am going home. Um, I got a lot of stuff to do. Hey, are y'all following me on TikTok? Can y'all go over to TikTok 757 Notary Queen and hit that like follow button? Yeah, go on ahead and do that, y'all. All right, y'all, that is a wrap for Tuesday. Hey, 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 it is Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon. And as you guys, some of you guys know on Wednesdays is my admin day where I try to get a lot of my paperwork done. So today I took the yearly signing agent exam and passed on the first time. Woo -woo. Um, I put together my welcome package so that I can upload my new credentials with my new signing agent, my new background check, my new W-9 and everything that is all included in that. Um, and we have the first day of February mentorship. I have reviewed my content from last week, getting ready to probably upload that video here on YouTube in a little bit. So y'all see this, that one, and then you'll see this one. Um, man, it's a lot of moving pieces going around. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? I need to send some emails out for something that I want to hold another event. You know me. Um, so I need to send some emails out and then I need to start applying pressure. Yo, I got to start applying for all those companies who did not take me because I did not have a year of experience and I'm coming to kick the dough down. So y'all better get on it because I'm coming through. I ain't never had a signing from Signature Closures. I've never had a signing from Amrock. I've never had a signing from Zone. Title 365, I think they're the same company. There are several Solidify. There are several signing companies that I have never had a signing with. And I plan on coming back. I'm coming. We coming? Oh, all right. Let me quit playing. Um, Yeah. So that is what I'm doing on my admin day. I need to make some more phone calls. Yes, I do. I got three phone calls that I need to make. And that is on that. Hey, I need to ship these documents. Oh, you want an envelope or is that? Oh, yeah. Hold that envelope up. Turn it over. Bad. 
Hey, 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 y'all. We getting ready to start the February mentorship. That is what we are going into, February mentorship. So if you have not signed up for it, sign up for it. And get yourself a notary buddy. I am on the FaceTime with my notary buddy. She is having her a day. And it is so good to have somebody to vent and talk to when you having these days. So I'm out of here. I'm going to talk to my buddy until mentorship. Hey, 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 you guys, it is Thursday, Thursday. We had mentorship yesterday, it was amazing. Met with a group of lovely young women that are ready to excel in their notary journey. I am finally at the bank. All right, thank you, you have a good one. Thank you. And now I'm gonna go to the post office and I'm gonna let you guys know a uh, marketing tip. Hey, 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 y'all. It is Thursday at around 2 p.m. my time. Um, and I have two signings. I have one guy that called me. He found me on Google. Do not sleep on that Google business page. And he's an investment property owner. And he has, um, he sold three properties. And they need to do the warranty deed for them. So I am going to meet him in about two hours and I am going to do all three of them. So getting the bag, found me on Google and he says that he flips and buys properties all the time. So hopefully I'll give him a good impression and things will go great from there. Then I have my signing afterwards that is with one of my direct clients. So I'll be going to go do that. I have been able to renew my... Um, NNA background check. I took the NNA exam. I've completed that and passed that. Um, I'm making my spreadsheet for the companies for me to update the companies. And I'm making another spreadsheet for new companies that I had applied for. And maybe they said that I needed a year of experience or I needed X amount of closings. I have them on my old spreadsheet because I kept track of what they said on why I could not become a vendor for them. So I'm going to be going back and forth with that. Um, I was really planning on, like, I feel like I didn't get a lot that I wanted to get done far as Ebony's Mobile Notary. I didn't get as much stuff done. And I know I normally go to bed at 10 o'clock, but I may have to stay up a little bit longer um, and figure some things out because I feel like I did not do enough for Ebony's Mobile Notary because I've been doing so much for 757 Notary Sisters and this is my second set of mentees that are coming through but I can't let my original founding business fall by the wayside as I'm trying to elevate my other one so I may have to just stay up a little longer and make sure that I have Ebony's Mobile Notary running properly now that I've had to update and um, renew everything. And we got to do that yearly as far as the, I didn't think that, I well, I thought I was going to get away with not having to take that test. Um, cause I haven't heard many people say that they have to take the test every year. So I had just started off by just doing the background check, but then I started getting emails saying, oh, we need your, um, your test, you know, uploaded as well, or at least, you know, to know that you passed that test. So I was like, oh, okay. So I went on ahead and took that test. It wasn't bad. Um, I did write down the answers from the first time that I took the test. And it was a couple of questions that were different, but it was really, really, it felt good to know that I know some stuff versus taking it that first time when you just don't really know anything and then taking it again the second time and you know a little bit of stuff. So I was able to pass it on the first attempt. No, I did not get a hundred. I think I got like um, a 86 or something. I don't know. I didn't care. I just needed an 80 or above to pass and be done with it next and that's exactly what I got um of course I got my code of conduct I got my handbook you know anything that I want to refer back to I am an NNA member um so I can always call the hotline if I needed help with anything there um I do have a discovery call so I'm gonna go get in the shower get dressed for my signings I found me a cute little outfit at Walmart um, we'll see if it, it gets a picture or not. I'm not sure. 
Um, but y'all know I love me one old good old onesie, something I can just throw on. So I did find that this morning at the Walmart and um, my post office. I went to the post office today, you guys, and it's called, I'm going to give it to you though. All right, now I got it. It's called Every Door Direct Mail. That is what it is called. So go to your local post office, usps.com, and look and see where you see business direct mail and um you'll be able to do a search and see how much the cost is going to be for you to add a flyer to like y'all ads that you get every week so it's called every door direct mail and this is through the united states post office so just go on a google search and look and see what you can get i know i'm getting ready to hop on the opportunity i'm going to make my little flyers and well i've already made my flyers i'm actually just waiting on them to come and hopefully the package that i picked was um it was a little more well at first i start off with the 47 dollar package then that was going to go to like 60 businesses and like 100 residents residential doors then it was another one that was like 108 dollars um, and it increased the businesses. I ultimately going to end up going with the one that's like $130 and it will hit 400. No. Yeah. It's like 381 businesses and 253 residential places. So I'm going to try it out and I'm going to see again, this is year two for number me. So if you are year one and you are not making any money in your business and your business can't hold that kind of expense, then I don't recommend doing it. My business can hold that type of marketing expense. So I'm going to try it. All right, you guys, in this business, your day can change so quickly. So one of my directs called me and asked me if I could do a seller's package um, tonight. So I am going to go do that. I did, someone found me on Google. I went and did that seller's package. Um, I'm going to go do another warranty deed. Then, well, right now I'm on my way to a refi. Refi, warranty deed, seller's package. All of that happened. Um, one of my signings for tomorrow did get canceled, which amen, because I'm probably going to be tired after I finish all of these tonight. Um, none of these have scan backs or anything like that. And yeah, so we still here on Thursday and it looks like maybe I might be off. Hey, cause your girl's birthday Saturday. Um, not like I'm doing anything, but, um, so that is on that. I will check back in with y'all in a little bit. Yo, your girl almost got D.E.D. Almost got dead. Let me tell y'all about this signing. So, remember the signing was at night. This is my last one. It's like quarter to eight. I pull up. I'm like, yo, this house. And if you were on Clubhouse, y'all kind of heard it play out because we were on Clubhouse. So I was driving. Yay. To my signing. So, I pull up and I'm like, mm, this house look abandoned. This can't be it. Now, mind you, I confirmed the address with direct client. And when I was talking to the signer, that's what she told me too. But I'm like, yo, this house look abandoned. I'm like, abandoned, abandoned. Like, ain't nobody lived there in a long time. Like, it wasn't even worth me going all the way up to the door. That's how abandoned it looks. So I'm calling the signer, calling, calling, calling. No answer, no answer. So still, you know, I'm like, mm, I'm going to wait. Maybe maybe it's just dark. Maybe they just got the lights off or whatever. Oh, by the way, y'all, it's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Friday, February the 4th. So I'm like, maybe they coming at 8 because I told her I would be there by 8 p.m. And it's only 745. So maybe they just got the lights off. You know, some people just don't cut grass and, you know, because I knew that the person who was selling the property was elderly. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to wait. But then I'm like, mm, yeah, nah. So I'm texting the lady. I'm calling. I'm calling. So then they call me back. 
And they're like, yeah, I'm at the motel. What? All right. She was like, but you got to come quick. Well, I can come as fast as my car is going to allow me to drive. So, y'all, I get to this motel. Most sketchiest thing in the world. Like everything, red flag, red flag, red flag. Lord knows, y'all, be careful in these notary streets. Number one, I was in a sketchy part of the neighborhood. Number two, it's dark. I don't have, not that I carry or anything, but all I got is my notary stamp to protect me. Like, come on now. So I get there. She's like, go to the front because I got to get you a parking pass. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to go to the front, but hopefully I, we can just sign at the front thinking, you know, they there. This lady tried to get in my car. She's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get in the car and you're going to take me. Who? Whose car? No, you're not getting in this car. No. Now, mind you, she eating an apple with a knife, too. No, we're not doing that. So she walks to her hotel room. She pacing back and forth, talking about this, that. And she like that she needs to hurry up. But the first thing that we got to do is a power of attorney for her mom. Um, so we get there, open up the door. It's like um, the 80s. It was all the drugs was there. And I'm like, oh, Jesus, this is a trap house. This the trap house. But I'm like, let me hurry up because, you know, I see this little elderly lady in this bed and she's bed bound. And so now I'm a nurse. So I'm like, mm, it smells like roaches and bed sores. But um, I ain't going to trip. I ain't going to trip. I'm like, okay, they got a dog in there. Yeah. So, you know, the mom got questions. And the daughter going off on the mom because she's trying to get her to hurry up and sign because the family dynamics is just bananas. So we at the end, y'all. At the end of the signing, like she doing the last page. At this point, I'm not explaining nothing because I got to get out of there. So, and she don't even care. She's just trying to get it done. I know her reasons for why she doing this. You know, she in a, they in a bind. They in a, they in a bind. So I can I can understand the bed bound mama's questions, but I can't say nothing. I can understand why the daughter is like trying to get all of this done. I still can't say nothing. I gotta remain impartial in the situation. It's a terrible situation for anybody to be in or whatever. And I'm just like standing there. The nurse part of me is like, I need to call APS, but um I'm like, Ebony, stop tripping, you know. Uh, you know, it was like, just, you know, maybe you don't, you already know how this kind of works. It's a circle of life, you know, blah. So all of a sudden somebody come bamming on the door. Now, mind you, I told you we in a motel. It is one way in, one way out, one way in, one way out. He comes in, it's the grandson going off about what's happening and me being there, but it's, one way in, one way out. Now the dog, Pitbull, is barking like he's going to eat me. The dude is not letting me out. Then when he finally does decide to tell me that I need to leave with, you know, I guess because of all the commotion, I go outside now it's two dudes standing by my car. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to die tonight. I'm getting ready to die for this dang on dumb $200. Like, why am I here? Why am I here? Like, I do not frequent hotels. Why am I here? Thank you, Lord. The police pull up. Soon as the police pull up, they move from behind my car. I walk to my car with my papers. I get in the car and I pull off. Don't be like me. When they went at that house and that house was abandoned, I should have hung it up then. I should have hung it up then. But no, why, why, why did I do that? Yeah, so it's like 6.30 in the morning, y'all. I sent the email to Title. I increased my fee because I almost got dead. I have the documents. I'm just waiting on them to open. And I'm going to drop them off with that nice increased invoice. Because your girl, 
She almost got dead. Happy Friday. Hey, 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 it is still Friday. It is Friday around 3.30 and I have been getting a lot of ASAP signings, a lot of general notary work. So I'm actually getting ready to get out of here one more time um, and go to uh, direct um, ASAP signing and um, a general notary, but it's a long signing for general notary. Somebody needs some loan documents done. So that is that should complete my Friday evening. I got a whole bunch of stuff that I need to do. Y'all know tomorrow's my birthday and I'm having a birthday party. That's going to be the giveaway. Hopefully you guys are there. And then I have time to sign if you need help with going over loan documents for mock documents, mock signings or whatever that we do live and answer questions and just kind of network and talk. So that's what I got going on. I need to get the documents prepared for the mock signing tomorrow and the birthday party tomorrow. Yeah, and I got discovery calls in the morning. Y'all keep booking those calls so that I can help you be successful in your journey. And yeah, my ring light's about to fall. All right, let me carry my tail because I just heard my printer stop. Hey, 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 you guys, we made it to Saturday. Yay! And I had my birthday party and guess what? 350 people registered, 22 people showed up. Thanks, you guys. Anyway, um, it was great. We made some connections. There was two notaries in there. Um, one person was in North Carolina. One person was in South Carolina. He was saying that his direct is always looking for somebody in South Carolina. So they was able to exchange information. And that's my purpose is that I really want to give back. Um, I had the guy from that owned a signing service in there and he just wrote a new book regarding signing services and all things notary and he was able to come and drop his link and give a percentage off into his store also had miss latonya middleton come through and she was able to leave a link for her etsy store as well for marketing prints and she was able to give some gems regarding that and we was able to just network and kind of you know come together as one um, I know a lot of people said that I didn't send a notification. Well, you know, my theory on that is that you show up to the table. You register, you just come. I can't be your reminder as well. So you guys just be mindful. They, you know, we're running a business. We run a business all the time, even if it is a small networking event. Um, you know, I called it Happy Birthday Ebony, but you come and you never know who is in the room because we had owners of signing services in the room. We had... Um, there was the, the floor was open for anyone to ask questions. Miss Kenan Lee Kina, she offers a lot of trainings and whatnots, and she sells merch. A lot of people ask me, where did you get that shirt from? Well, I had the owner there at the birthday party and she was able to leave her information on how you could get you a shirt that say, what did my shirt say? Black girls notarize. So you guys make sure that you are showing up to the table when opportunity is presented to you. Make sure that you grasp that opportunity and take it. No one needs to send you a reminder. No one needs to remind you to be great in your business. Take those, those key opportunities and just do it. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to this channel. I'm getting ready to go into time to sign. So it, again, another platform if you need help with reviewing documents live and in person where we can network, communicate with each other and we're giving tips and tricks on what to do at the table. When you're at these signings, you're not just watching a video alone. You're on live and in person with somebody who sits at the table all the time, every single day, five days a week, five to seven days a week, sometimes doing these signings. So I'm trying to be a resource that is available to you, but it's up to you to do it. So again, do things with good intentions. Well, no, wait, let's go back. Be great on purpose do things with good intentions, apply pressure, and if you're scared, do it scared.